Hello everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable private browsing in Safari in iPhone on iOS 18. So let's begin. Now, first of all, we are going to open the Safari browser. And after opening Safari, you are going to find two squares on the lower right corner. So let's press on the two squares. After you press on the two squares, you will find a screen like this and you will be in the start page. From here, right beside start page, you will find private. You're going to have to click on private. So as you can see, there we have the private browsing and it says private browsing adds additional privacy protection for tabs. So after you close a private tab, Safari will not remember the pages you have visited or your search history or your autofill information. Thus, your cookies and other informations will be deleted as soon as you close the tab. Now, after you have pressed private, you're going to have to click on the plus sign on the lower left corner. So click on the plus sign and there we have it. We have a private browsing window opened in Safari. So now we are browsing in private mode. However, the private browsing may not be available this way to you. So let me go back to our start page and here we are. Now in start page, let's suppose that I have pressed the two squares and I don't see the private written text here so that I can't go to the private section. So here I'm at the start page and the private is not there, let's suppose. So if the private is not there, you're gonna have to press the three stripes on the middle. So after pressing the three stripes, you're gonna have to select private from here. And after selecting private, you will be directed to the private section. And then if you have any ongoing running tabs, you can go on it and if you don't have a tab like this then you can press on the plus sign on the lower left corner so we have a private window right over here now you can also add an extra layer of security to your private browsing so to add an extra layer of security all you have to do is go to settings so let me close this and go to settings and then we are going to the apps section now we need to go to the safari application because we are going to manage the settings for our Safari application. So here is the Safari application. We are going to go in and now we are going to scroll down and then we are going to turn on this option, require face ID to unlock private browsing. So if we turn this on, then when we have to go to our private browsing mode, then it will require our face ID. Plus in this way, if someone else is using our phone, then they will not be able to go to the private browsing section without our face ID. So now let me go back to the Safari application again. And now let's go to private browsing. As you can see, the private browsing is locked. And after my face ID got verified, the private browsing was unlocked. So in same way, private browsing will be locked and I'm not giving my face ID, so it's not unlocked. In this case, you can also use the passcode to unlock your private browsing, but it needs to be unlocked with your face ID or passcode. So you can also add an extra layer of security to your private browsing this way. So guys, if you found this video helpful, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos like these.